wordage. Now, now you are. Look at this. Oh, <laughs> now you're live. I keep it PG thirteen. <laughs> Now you're live. Dude, right now I feel like shit. And this is why I busted this out because I wanted I wanted you to talk to me about So right now I feel like shit. Like I don't want to work out. Uh -huh. I slept a couple of hours. You slept hours. I slept I slept <laughs> too, much indoor, too much indoor too much indoor. No 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 no. I, I slept I slept uh, I mean I slept I slept uh, I didn't sleep enough. Oh, okay. Okay, I thought you meant. So I want you to talk about what your motivation is to work out. Oh shit! So why, why work out? Why are you doing it? Why am I working out? Yeah. Because I'm passionate about working out. All right. I love the energy it gives me. And how do you motivate someone like me? Right now, doesn't feel it. You're not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. I'm gonna make you feel it. <laughs> <laughs> how, how do you, uh, so like right now, right now, I, I'm telling my body, right now I'm overcoming my body because, and I even I set this up, because I got this today, and uh, I said to myself, I said, all right, how do you overcome your body? You know what I mean? How do you, how do we overcome our bodies? Yeah, 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 what, what is it that you, I'm gonna spit some verbiage you gave me. And just All right, here it, it is. There it is. This is what I want to hear. This is what. This is the raw stuff that the audience wants to hear from Rob. Because you gave me some knowledge. All right. And now I use that whenever I'm not motivated. But you told me you have goals, and the hardest thing about goals is to stay motivated and to keep yourself motivated and to keep going when you're not motivated. You told me that there's a certain point in time where we make progress or we conform to not progress mm -hmm. and so our body and our mind starts telling us and starts making us not want to do the things that we have goals for. Yep. It starts going back to those old patterns that we're trying to avoid. Yeah. yeah. So by knowing that, we have to be aware of that and then we have to push ourselves. So one of the motivations that I saw, um, it's funny, have you ever, have you heard of the bodybuilder Ronnie Coleman? He's this huge guy, he's huge guy, he was Mr. Olympia for a long ass time. And he, he has this strange saying and he just says, ain't nothing to it but to do it. <laughs> and it's so legit, because right now, I was like, when I busted out this camera set here, I was all like, is it time? Should I do it? Should I is not? Is this the do gorilla? It? Yeah, this is the gorilla oh, pod. Oh shit! I need to get that shit. You see, it's all being. Uh, oh shit! I'm out of focus. Oh, there we go. I'm back in focus. Um. Yeah. So what the hell? It's open. The gate's open. Take advantage. Get slammed by it. Um, Take advantage. So I said, ain't nothing to it but do it. So let me just bust this oh, out. Oh no no, it's uh. There's a clock. Yeah. So I said, let's do it. So right now, this is like a little video of me kind of getting raw footage. But that's, at the same time, sick, but at the same time, it's uh, it's uh, it's just testing out the waters and just doing it. You know, fuck it, just do it. Just putting it out there. Like right now, I don't, I don't feel like I want to work out. I don't want to work out at all. I don't even want to fucking be here. But I'm gonna overcome my body. And I'm gonna fucking work out. I'm gonna just go for it and feel accomplished with what it is that we produce. There it is, and I wanna show you some production now that we're talking about production. Producing, Robert's producing. Let's see what he's I got. Produced something this weekend. Let's so, see. As you know, me and Charlie went on a family vacation. Uh huh. And I don't fucking hold that shit, but uh, All right. we went on a family vacation. Uh -huh, you can zoom out. And even my cousins were like, hey, let's help Robert. And I was like, oh, oh. fuck it. And they're like, hey, let's, <laughs> let's make one of your videos. You train on a song. Oh, and I was like, yeah, we'll make a video. Uh huh. And, uh, and what's it called? Um, we, we made a fucking video. Let's here, check it out. Let's see. Um, let's see. Maybe you want to show the camera. Maybe put the, put the video on the thing. Put the camera, there you go. And you can flip the screen so you can see. All right, here we go. Badass camera. All right, here we go, let's see. There it is, check it out. Oh, the preview of the incoming video. Oh, damn. We 
working out in the wilderness. She was awesome. Dude. See, and one of the things that you need to highlight in your videos is that everybody's at a different level. You know, you can't expect everybody to be able to do everything perfect, right? Yeah, we gave Shade the, the modifications for the exercises. Yeah, exactly. And you see how she's still trying. Yeah, she wanted to. She was like, let, let me try the let me try the up version. If I can't keep up with you guys, I'll, I'll try the modification. Yeah. Like, All right, good. You see? Ain't nothing to it but to do it. There it is. So that's today's theme. That was my motivation. This is a clean video. I like it. I really like it. Yeah, so that was my fucking motivation this weekend. Like, I ate like shit, and I felt guilty as hell. Uh-huh. But waking up today, I was like, all oh, right. Shit, this yeah. But uh, waking up today, I was like, fuck it, all right? You know, that was the weekend. Um, and what I used to do in the past is I used to let I used to let that shit get to me mm -hmm. when, I, when I would fuck up over the weekend. Mm -hmm. And and that would just lead to, like, more binging and shit. But this mm -hmm. week, I started off today, and I was like, fuck, no, I'm just going to do everything clean as hell today, this whole week. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make my goal no junk until um, two weeks from now, which is an another celebration. So I'm just going to make that my own goal for myself. Yeah. So the moral of the story here is you're getting stuff done. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't have to be perfect. There it is. There it is. See? Out. And resistance. Yeah, yeah. This is, the, this is a pre-workout feeling. Not feeling it. Don't really want to do it, but motivating the body. After we get out of here, we will do a post-workout interview and see how it went. Oh, oh shit, there it shit. Is. here we go, here we go. We'll do real camera talk series right now. So right now, I do not want to work out at all. So what you're about to witness right now is just overcoming the body. All right, yes. here we go. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna I'm struggling with motivation, but I'm gonna get it done. Yeah. Here we go. There's no, ain't none to it, but do it. Or what did, what's your new saying, Rob? Stop being a bitch and just do it. <laughs> Here we go. Stop being a bitch and do it. Here we go. Uh, there it is. All right, everybody. We're about Let's to get down. Stop being a bitch and I'm just gonna get it done. So what you're gonna witness right now is very sloppy workouts because I'm not perfect at it, but. Hey, after like two minutes, you're gonna get yeah, your little yeah. adrenaline surge again and you're gonna be here we go. Doing that shit hard. All right, let's get started, Rob. Let's get started. <sighs> Self-made. All right, so I came in not wanting to do this because I'm tired. My body hurts. I've been at work all day, but I still did it with him. And right now I feel like I overcame my body. How do you feel, Rob? I feel good. And my message of the day is that when you feel unmotivated, always rely on your friends because that's the only way your motivation is gonna keep going. You can't keep your motivation just by yourself. You can't do everything by yourself it's okay to need help and whenever I feel unmotivated this guy always gets me through it that's and it. apparently whenever he feels unmotivated <laughs> I get him through it that's it it's a two-way street and now it's time for jujitsu and then a post interview in the car to see how that went ah uh, shit ah uh, shit I'm Sorry. already exhausted <laughs> here we go no, it's still pretty it's a T6. All right, so we are done with the workout. I came here, no motivation. My body hurt. I didn't even want to move. I didn't want to do shit. And we did it. So what, what do you have to say? Here, go ahead and take that. What do you have to say to the people? At the end of this shit, uh -huh. I saw increased motivation. Uh -huh. I saw that adrenaline spike. Yeah. We just finished jujitsu, uh -huh. but it's hard into that shit. Uh -huh. It was awesome just to see, and I, I think like again, uh, the companionship thing, mm -hmm. and knowing who you can rely on for motivation, and getting yourself to be motivated is where you want to be. There it is. That's where we got you today. There it is. And myself too, because I got a, I got a little motive, extra motivation today. Yeah. We had a talk, 
and whenever we talk, we, we talk about motivation, we talk about um, what's going to get us keep, to keep going, and he always helps, and I always help. There it is. So this there is the is. commitment. This is the commitment is to commitment. continue to overcome the body, continue to be motivated, and continue to achieve. And so what's, it, what's your new slogan? What is it? Stop being a bitch and just do it. Stop being a bitch and do it. This is That's Motivation it. Diary number one. All right. Bam.